we now make a formal statement of what the algebraic eigenvalue problem is. Here we have the equation ax equals lambda x. And what's given here typically is the matrix A, which is an n by n matrix, so it has to be a square matrix. And what we want to compute are the eigenvalues lambda, so these are the scalars that satisfy this, and vectors x that are not the zero vector associated with each of these eigenvalues. So we start with ax equals lambda x, where x should not be the zero vector. What we can do is subtract lambda times x from both sides. And then we recognize that x is just the same as the identity times x. And the reason for that is that we can then take x out and look at this as a minus lambda i, that's a matrix, times the vector x. And notice that that has to be equal to the zero vector. And what that means is that we're looking for scalars lambda such that a minus lambda i is singular. In other words, if you subtract lambda off the diagonal elements of A, we should end up with a singular matrix, a matrix that does not have an inverse. And then what we would like to do is characterize all the vectors x that are not the zero vector, such that A minus lambda x times that vector is zero. In other words, we're looking for all vectors x that are in the null space of A minus lambda i. And notice that we're not interested in the vector x equal to zero because that's the trivial solution to ax equals lambda x. So in summary, how do you find all eigenvalues? You look for scalars such that a minus lambda i is singular. How do you characterize the eigenvectors corresponding to an eigenvalue? Often it's most convenient to think of these vectors as the vectors in the null space of a minus lambda i.